I'm going to unbox this GoV temperature and humidity remote recording sensor that I showed in our previous video on how to use it inside a bottle beehive. It comes in this nice made to fit your order box from Amazon. Let's get inside. All right, inside of our made to fit your order box is this box, which has the GoV sensor, very efficient. It came in this little packing insert, which I suppose is supposed to help protect it, but there's no other bubble wrapping in here, so it's just free to slide around. Having said that, the packaging seems sufficient. I've bought two of these. This is the second one. So this is the package. It says Govi Smart Thermometer, and uh, we'll give you the specs on screen, but this is the H5074 which is important to know when you go to hook it up to your app. In this box, when we open her up, looks like that, it has a little pull tab, we pull that, the sensing unit comes out, inside the box there's a user manual that looks quite thick, but that's because it's in like 27, I don't know how many languages, uh, but the instructions are written in English, the first few pages, and they are uh, pretty comprehensible. In fact, it even uh, on this step says open the GoV Home app and then to tap the corner and select H5074. So you don't have to remember that number. Comes with a little card here that says, you know, get connected if you need help, blah, 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 and where to go get your app. And it comes with a nice little lanyard if for some reason you want to carry it we can take it out of the box and throw it away if you wanted to carry it on the lanyard you'd simply pass it through there you'd bring it back around through here and now you can hang it someplace uh, i doubt you're going to carry it on your wrist while you're taking a walk so we're not interested in the lanyard at this moment i'm going to set it aside along with all these other goodies that we're not going to use and this is what your sensor looks like. Now to activate this sensor, all you do is you just pull this little tab out. This tab keeps the battery from making contact until you get it. So you pull the, the tab and discard it. You don't need it anymore. And your sensor is now active. We're gonna show you the uh, app and how it's working in just a moment. But first we're gonna open her up. So if I turn this, I can slide my thumb in there and pull the back cover. The innards will just fall out here. Okay, there's a little pin right here that holds it into place uh, by friction. Didn't break anything. And this is what your, uh, what your sensor looks like on the inside. As you can see, it's pretty small and has the battery on the back. Now this is a pretty large battery uh, that's on here, and so when I measure this, it comes to about 0.4 inches. I'll show you the reading. So it's a little thicker than um, uh, a beehive sensor, but that's due to the extra size of the extra thickness of the battery. And there you have it. So we're going to uh, put this back together this unit is advertised as having a 262 foot connecting range over Bluetooth. I don't know what the actual optimum or real distance is. I'm using one in the field right now at about 200 feet and have no difficulty connecting to it at all. Um, it comes with the smart app so that you can monitor it. It's supposed to be plus or minus a little over a half degree uh, for temperature. Um, and it features onboard storage for the data that it collects, which you can, if you want, uh, then export as a CSV to put into Excel or your favorite spreadsheet or however you like to manipulate CSV files. It's pretty small, pretty light. The sensor also allows you to set up alert notifications. So you can say if it gets above this temperature, send me an alert, which is only useful if you're connected to Bluetooth at the time. Um, it has the ability to adjust the temperature if 
uh, the sensors off by a couple of degrees, you can actually uh, feed in an offset to adjust for that. Uh, and the other thing that I would point out is that this unit uh, is an indoor unit. As you saw how it came apart, uh, it's not sealed and um, the little hole where the uh, where for airflow isn't sealed either. In my application, I'm using this outdoors, but it is inside a protected enclosure. Uh, that's a, inside a beehive, which you can see how that's used in one of my other videos. So let's go take a look at the app and how you install this. Go to the App Store and search for GoV Home. Select the GoV Home app, install it, wait for it to download, and install. Once installed, open the app and you'll be greeted with the home screen and some instructions for how to use it, which are primarily for using it for lights, which won't do us any good. Once you get to the home screen, press the plus button in the upper right hand corner and then home improvement and scroll down till you find H5074 and click that. It will start searching Bluetooth and click that device. When it's done, you have the opportunity to change the name of your device. Click Done when you're done changing the name. That will take you back to a screen that hasn't much data on it. Go back to the home screen, and there you go. If you click on your device, then on the device page, you can click on hourly, daily, weekly, and so forth. To export this data as the CSV file, click Export Data. Then you can select the email address that you're going to send it to. You can select how frequent you want the data summarized. I've selected every hour here. And then you can select the start time and the end time and then push the export button and it will send you an email to your inbox that has the CSV attached to it.